kippers for breakfast, Aunt Helga. Is it St. Swithin's Day already? Tis, replied Aunt Helga. Chances are, if you've heard of St. Swithin, you've probably heard of him thanks to that Simpsons quote. But St. Swithin was a real saint who lived and died here in Winchester. We don't know much about St. Swithin's life with certainty other than the bare facts of where he lived, worked and died. This is because the major chronicler that went into detail with him was William of Malmesbury, who, if you remember uh, from our Flying Monks episode, lived about 300 years later. But we do know that he was the Bishop of Winchester here in about the 9th century, 1850s-ish. St. Swithin was a very important bishop in a major bishopric, but he's most famous for the events after he died because of an old English saying, if it rains on St. Swithin's day, it'll rain for 40 days. When St. Swithin died, he was buried somewhere in the cathedral grounds uh, as part of his wishes to be buried under the sky where everyone could tread upon him and the rains could fall upon him. But pilgrims used to come and pray for miracles over his grave in such great numbers that it was eventually decided by the uh, bishops that it needed to have a better memorial to him. So they dug up his remains and moved them inside the cathedral. According to legend, it began to rain. It rained and rained and flooded the whole area, and it rained for 40 days. And ever since, people have said if it rains on St. Swithin's Day, it'll rain for 40 days. This is a modern-day monument to St. Swithin, which is on the location that the original memorial would have been. Pilgrims would have walked through the entire cathedral before getting to here and making their prayers for healing or whatever else they've come to ask the saints help with. St. Swithin was then a major pilgrimage site here at the cathedral and this entire frontage here is actually a late medieval addition to the original cathedral specifically to house the number of pilgrims that were coming through and make sure they had a place to pray and give money to the church. However the Reformation came in uh, the reign of Henry VIII and of course Henry VIII didn't want the saints to be venerated, and he especially wanted all the gold that was all over the saints' uh, locations of veneration. So he sent soldiers to Winchester Cathedral to seize the saints' remains and the gold car casket and everything to do with the saints' veneration. And a group of monks here in Winchester who had been uh, tipped off that the king's troops were coming, recovered the saints' remains and reburied them somewhere, according to them, no one would ever find them again. And presumably, St. Swithin finally got his wish of being buried under open sky.